Good morning guys, uh, in today's video you are going to see me unbox the Fox two tier bivvy table. Now I've wanted a bivvy table for a while, uh, Fox bought their new one out, uh, the single one and I just never got around to buying it because I didn't go fishing and then I literally came this morning and I seen it in there as I went to buy uh, another product which I'll be doing a review on and I seen it and I was like oh it was there with the single one and I thought to myself which one would be better single yeah it's a little bit smaller um, still do, does the job but then I've seen the two tier and it's an it's a nice size and obviously it comes with that second tier for little bits and bobs and I was like yeah that's the one for me so I went and bought it I paid 16 pound for it for 59.99 you might be able to get it cheaper I don't think you can at this moment in time but yeah a lot of places are sold out and I've seen it in store and I bought it so let's get into it comes in the normal Fox packaging as it would uh, as any other Fox product does really especially the black label type stuff um, I have already opened it because I have recently used it it's got lovely diagrams on the back on how to uh, um, how to use it uh, and and the dimensions if you if you're worried about it fitting in your bivy and you want to know the dimensions beforehand it's on it's on the um, back so let's get it out there you have it straight away lovely sleek design it's quite it's quite big but like I say no man is ever gonna whinge about uh, the size of something being too big and as you can see it's got some cut out portions around here and, if you, and that's because if you can't get these legs out you can just push down on the the pop-up bit here and it'll push the leg out and these are all spring loaded so as you pull it out it just locks into place like so and that happens all the way around it's the, these side ones that are a little bit tricky so push it in and there we go so once it's like this is this is what it's like in its normal form now so there you go it's in its normal form and from there oh I am actually fishing that's a solid bag but there also is a twig there that's just going to cross the line never mind we'll keep going so you can see the tray kind of clicks in you lift it from this part here and it lifts all the way up and it's in position there <clears throat> so that's it fully good to go the legs are adjustable so if you're in a bit of an uneven ground you can adjust them it sits quite high and I'm thinking about putting my um, my food bits and bobs under there like my stove and stuff once I've actually uh, fully set it up and good to go one interesting feature that I I did notice is on the sides here on the sides just there you've got little cutout portions and there that's good for hanging rigs uh, if you if you ever need that many there's some there and there's some on the opposite side so my first first impressions is it's sleek it's um, really good heavy duty almost it's uh, nice and sturdy and like I say I already have been putting some stuff on it but I haven't really tested it with like a big uh, something really heavy I've had my lead pouch on there that's probably got about 20 25 leads in but yeah um, I'm really I'm actually really impressed with it and I'm actually looking forward to to using it and getting the most out of it um, so things what I what I've initially used it for I had um, my tackle box on there along with my rig box so I'll just show you now the rig box is the extra large one fox one so I put that at the back and I've got the new um, medium tackle box that was on there as well look it fits perfectly to one side if you wanted to uh, and also I had like a, another little tackle box that I used on the top shelf that I've also been doing is um, using my putting my receiver in the top corner and like stuff like head torch lighter anything like that really has been in the top there and as you can see you can work from it it opens up it doesn't really encroach in the top shelf uh, and yeah you can work on it no problem have your rigs uh, do what you need to do with all that kind of stuff and it's just a good place um, to keep all your stuff central if you're like me and you've got 
well, I wouldn't say bad admin, but as soon as I open my rucksack, my tackle is everywhere. It's on my bed, it's on the floor. So the good thing about this table is everything's drawn to there. So now I don't need to be going in and out of my bag for my rib box, my tackle box. I can get it out at the beginning of the session and just leave it out. Because normally I like to put it away so it's all, it kind of looks nice and neat uh, most of the times. So it's really good for getting it all out uh, during your, uh, the beginning so you've got it out throughout the session and you know if you don't want it there then you can just put it under the table it's not exactly going to be in the way because you've already got the table out um, yeah I'd probably say that's about it really I think you can still use it uh, with the top tier down obviously you'll just have that bar in your way so that would be it and you could still use it essentially whether that's like that or you turn it around so you have the bigger portion facing towards you and that's probably a good way of portioning stuff out say if you was building rigs you could potentially just build them in that little tray so none of your bits spill over uh, and stuff like that a good feature that's also good it fit as you're undoing the leg so you pull because they're spring loaded so you simply just pull and push them back down like so do that all around From there, it's nice and flat, nice and slim line, so that will fit in my bed chair. And that's probably where it'll be stored uh, in the future going forward. So yeah, very, very good bit of kit. Excited to get some good, good use out of it. As I mentioned, 60 quid. And um, I don't know if they are available online, but I'm at Top of Mana currently, and this uh, it was in stock. So yeah, bought it. Very impressive it. If you've got any questions about it, feel free to ask and I'll uh, try and answer them to the best of my ability uh, down in the comments. And if you haven't already uh, subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. I've got a few more uh, reviews coming up. I've got the Camo Light Barrel Bag, which I've recently bought, along with the, um, the brand new uh, Fox 10K waterproofs. I've got them with me and it should be raining tomorrow so we're going to actually give them a test run in the rain so yeah if you haven't subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next one